Hello, anyone who may be watching now or later, uh, welcome to Helene's Hub with me, Hillian, alongside. And welcome back to Dishonored 2. And yeah, we've been making some decent progress with this game so far. To the point that I think we might be. Yeah, we're at least past the halfway point, I think. Though I could, of course, be absolutely wrong with that. Yeah, I think at least halfway point. Though, when we're done is another question. Yeah. I think like, we still have a few more weeks with this. Yeah, we'll for... I, see how many. I, as I said, I'd be surprised if this be the final stream. <laughs> that would be a very cliffhangery ending. But yeah. Last time we arrived at the Dust District. And for once we don't actually have a target to kill. At least we don't start with one. But we have someone to find instead. Uh, do you see the paintings on the wall? The, or, there. Yep. Yeah, we've seen these before. Taxes, taxes, taxes. Tax. <laughs> yeah, that, that's because the Duke is just squeezing the life out of his country. And yeah, we have nothing to fear of the ground killer. Unless uh, they somehow replicate that Joker or uh, Jacqueline Hyde tonic that made her the ground killer. Would that be horrifying? Because as horrifying as that mask or head? That's a mannequin head. The, that's the most disturbing mannequin head I've seen up to this point. Okay, we haven't seen many mannequins in our stream so far, but I get the feeling we eventually will find more and more of them. Yeah, I, I've seen mannequins in real life and all that, and... There's some mannequins not that doesn't look that bad. And then there are those that look uneasy. Or just planned. But that's one in the we saw just now looked rather uncomfortable to look at. Okay, I was expecting a lot more well dust in the dust district, <laughs> but I'm guessing it'll be a lot more on the ground floor, yep. Okay, this place is basically Oh yeah, that is def it's becoming desert. Uh, yeah, do you know the term des uh, des desertification? I believe it's said. Oh yeah, I, I think I recall it. it. It's more of a recent word I've been hearing, but it's feasibly uh, self-explanatory. Self yeah, basically, from the Duke. You know, deserts growing well, and expanding. Good soldiers grinding about the hallucinogenic powder the howlers use. Then stabbed to death or dragged down by the Abbey's hands. One young lieutenant got hit by an overseer grenade, and that was it. She was one of the Duke's distant cousins or something. Shit. Let's hope they do enough damage to each other so the fight goes out of them. And that won't happen until someone manages to kill either Paolo or Vice Overseer Byrne. And I don't see you or me beating a path to the crone's hand or up to the temporary stronghold the Abbey's got set up. Okay. So that's where Paolo's hold oh. off, is Chrome's hand. Okay. I see a mind collapsing with a dozen workers. A beggar succumbs to blood lies. The cat sleeps on a velvet pillow. Okay, one of these things is not like the others. <laughs> Oh. I'm so glad I got these new headphones for. It makes me able to hear the character better, but also it has a bit of I don't know if it's a drawback or not. Maybe a benefit for that. Fit almost bone chilling to listen to. Yeah, this, we've said this plenty of times before, but this is not a nice wall. Yeah, I don't want to live here too. I want to learn more, but that doesn't mean I want to live there. 
it's a nice place to visit, but uh, you're not going to stay the weekend. <laughs> one way. Um, how did he not see us? Okay, he got sight of us, but I'm pretty sure that sort of at least gone into the red. Uh, what the? Oh, come on. Developers, really? Uh, I mean, I noticed something I uh, call a bit shoddy work, but it's not that big deal. Just root going through fences in a bad way. Oh, thank you, a random mob. I've almost forgot my sandwich. <laughs> okay, that's not attracting the most attention. As long as you're great, guard. It ain't to and of course else. it's empty. Should have expected that if they'd let if they'd let this place. If they left the place alone long enough for all of this to collect inside, then, uh, yeah, <laughs> they've taken the time to at least empty the register. Yeah, and uh, I can say this. If, if he keeps up, I can swear that many people will, will rebel against Delilah and the others. Just because how they are treating the citizens, but that is a break point. out of my ears. Okay. Wait, silver... Du this house. is dust coming That's from a mine sign. after all. All apples and slippers. All apples and Sure, he knows how to talk to the boss. Well, we'll explore. I hear these <laughs> damn windmills in my sleep. <laughs> okay, they have interesting sayings. Wait. Are they meaning that lit this dust here is literally silver? Yeah, part of it at least. Dust from the mines. Oh, hello. Now this is making things a bit more interesting. Okay, if those are going to keep popping up, it'll give us windows to get yeah, to cross places without getting spotted. Yeah, from what I remembered from the law video, these are winds in this area are very common. Hence why they can rely on wind power so much. It's one step closer. Surprise actually the closest thing here. Something unsafe meters, forty one. This guy is just not turning away, it seems. Quite an interesting thing to talk about when you're talking someone out. The E is a friendship. I imagine that. What? What's going oh, on here? Of course, a Stop. window. Don't make too much noise, dudes. There we go. Nice and friendly hug. Just a very strong hug. Oh. Mine collapses numerous casualties. I believe we read this one before. Uh, yeah. We've read that one. Now, oh, where? Come on, I got where you're about to eat it then. Productive uh, filament? Might be something with shock bolts or something. Something electric at least, or maybe. Actually, maybe there's an armor upgrade to uh, improve resistance to getting shocked or something. I know some of the guards use electrical weapons. For now. There. That. And open says Emily. to go or are we just being choke pointed through there hmm. Hmm. It doesn't look like we will be able to move out from here but we can take these three out I'm guessing so, are they even in range that one is and this one is but that one is not okay 
And he's out of range. Okay. Then we'll just have to be quick. Knock, knock. What happened here? Oh, and... Oh, there's another one. Okay, you... Hey, where do you think you're going? You're supposed to be here. Let me uh, show you how I got my... Actually... Wipes. You ready? She's wounded! Oh. Let's finish it. There we go. That's a lot. Ow! Unconscious, unconscious. Okay. Uh, he's going to get his head stuck when he wakes up. But better than trying to block them and choke them out and having one stab the other like they happened before. I bet if he's going to get his head stuck for how broad it is now, but I think you're going to have quite a migraine. Yeah, and dust up the ass. Well, literally up the ass uh, all the way up through everything. Yeah, and I hope you saw the warning sign. Uh, which one? Uh, the one that uh, you were aware that it was blocked. Uh, I think that it's, I saw a blood fly warning sign there. That's the idea, but we can't get through with this anyway. Yeah, but if we are entering this building, be warned at least. Or at least had it be warned. You know what I mean. Okay. Other than that, though, we're what the? in now, I'm guessing. And yeah, what we're was going that? To this? Is some sort of thistle plant? No, no, no. I thought I heard something. I thought I heard a scream in game. I'm not. I missed it then, if there was one. Come on, rotten pear. I, I need to. I need to hold off a second before clicking on anything edible like that. Uh. Yeah, at least Emily's stomach is stronger than mine. Then. There is one. Okay, for something that's supposedly infested, this place doesn't seem too bad. Yep. Unless the, the infestation was a lie? Okay, here we go with another one of these. Okay. <laughs> Not really useful now. Okay. Isn't some sort of balcony to climb on to? Okay, so just up and over. And the vice overseer effectively wants the same thing. Oh, there you are, Megan. Okay. I was thinking that didn't sound that didn't sound this this you know, distorted enough to be a witch. Hello, Emily. Stilton's home is just beyond here. But getting inside will take some effort. I've been doing reconnaissance. Talking to people. The Overseers and the Howlers have divided up the district. Just ahead is neutral territory where no one will harass you. But further on, the Howlers and the Overseers both have boundaries set up. And beyond those points, they'll attack you on sight. Aramis Stilton is the real goal. Sokolov said you had an idea. Yes. I believe that if you take out Paolo or Vice Overseer Byrd, the other one will grant you safe passage and will help you get inside Stilton's home. Neutralize either one of them, and bring him to the other. What else do you know that might help me? Burn is protected by the Overseers. Paolo has the Howlers, but I think he's also got some kind of black magic charm. They say he's got to die twice before the sun sets, or he can't be killed. Good luck with that. Okay. I'm guessing a That's right. option would be to try and just sneak through. And like I said, they'll deliver one leader to the other. Ooh, or bloody heck. Did you just get jump scared by a, a gilded statue? 
I for a moment thought, oh, fuck, a guard, a guard. Oh, wait, that's not a guard. But yeah, not jump scared, just instantly concerned that you were to get spotted. and the overseers both think they're representing the people of the city. So it's funny that everyone who lives here is terrified of them. How can a gang of cutthroats believe they represent the citizens of Karnaka? Do you think the Grand Guard is keeping the city safe? For everybody not born in a palace, sometimes a gang of cutthroats is all we've got. And sometimes, instead, they come after the people you love with knives. It's not that simple, Megan. I can't argue with that. Okay, I'm... Hmm. I'm guessing silver graphs is what they call photos in this world? Because, well, back in the early days, photos were made with uh, some sort of silver powder compound or something. For the flash. Was it called flash silver? A silver flash? Not sure. Um, how are we going to get to that room? This is the Duke of Circonus. I've been told that people are complaining about dust from the lines falling on the city. Yes, war is expensive. You may not be aware that our silver mines are operating past full capacity in order to fund our conflict against the Northern Isles. That's not dust. It's the blood of our enemies. Wait, what? Wait, hey man. Yeah, I'm not, I'm yeah not officially... Sure you just... huh? It seems they officially declared war on the other Isles. And that way he's still just barking and crap with crap. In the preparations. The old okay, so dude pinned a medal on my father and sent him off to Dunwall. Okay, he's cast he, <clears throat> he cast his dreams with the people of Sokonus. I'm surprised that the Daka the current jackass of a duke hasn't turned that down. Okay. This is the way to it. Oh, the crone's hands. Cronus is finest. You are never alone in the hand of the crone. Uh, meeting place and purveyors of strong food and drink. Come one, come all. Nothing else compares. Uh, home of the five coin dice game. Strong arm competitions held nightly. Betting encouraged. Young gentlemen and ladies welcome. No age requirements. The first of the month is always ale night. Purchase three ales and get the fourth for half. Easily found on Miramare Street in the Dust District, formerly uh, Batista District. Okay, so Miramar Street, that is where we'll find this place. And no age restrictions in a bar. Yeah, that's not going to end up in alcoholism. How are we going to get to it? I don't want to spend too much time. I think I just answered my question whilst I was going to repeat it. Or actually, I was going to say I don't want to spend too much time uh, trying to get it, but yeah, now I got it. How many do we have actually? Six, okay. Uh, let's see. We assassinate or incapacitate up to two enemies during Shadow Walk. Okay. Uh, move faster, and that is up to three. Hmm. I'd actually missed that bit. Wait, uh, hold on. They can't incapitate. Incap they were only they were unable to kill before in the uh, other game, weren't they? Uh, that, 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 this isn't the Shadow Clone. This is our Shadow Walk ability, the one that we've been using to get through ducks and such. Uh, all right, all right. Yes, we could get try getting that. Uh, for the moment, let's get agility, so we don't have to we don't have to reach up to places as much anymore. So we can just jump it up. Uh, C block increase health, throw objects. 
We'll get to adrenaline, the adrenaline systems when we get to Dark Messiah of Might and Magic. Because yes, I am adding that game to the line with this. Since, well, it's technically uh, Dishonored 0 0.5. Really? Wait, it only comes, costs one? Okay. Let's at least try it then. Yes. Let's see. Craft your own bone charms by selecting a combination of mystical traits and expanding raw will bone as a resource. Trade effects are cumulative. If you use a trait more than once, its effect stacks, becoming stronger. Sometimes bone charms get corrupted during crafting and will also have negative traits. Bone charms with three or four traits uh, are more likely to be corrupted. Sacrifice bone charms to discover new traits and gain a raw will bone. Okay. So we could te technically speaking, uh, here, technically speaking, we could break up one of our useful bone charms, so we could make more of it. Yeah, just be careful. Yeah, and we're not we're not getting rid of these like, because that is far too useful to be invisible whilst we're zipping around. This one could be uh, very useful to have multiple of. Do we have anything we start with? Okay, we need to sacrifice to begin with, even. And let's see. Climbing is slightly faster, recover from falls, swim speed. Slide speed, food restores more health. Shadow walk lasts longer. Many regeneration is slightly faster. Are only small stuff. Let's see. Significantly less damage, less falling. Greater damage, maximum mana. Let's let's this let's break up this one. It is one that we're using, but if we can we can make a stronger version, perhaps. So now we should have. Uh, let's see. Wait. Oh. Oh no. Okay. This I got it wrong. Um. I think we need to be able to we can put multiple different ones on uh, let's well this one that we need let's let's break up the acrobat one as well and then we make one with both of those acrobat and spiritual pool no chance of corruption Okay, now we have a dual <laughs> bone charm. Okay, nice. which opens up space for one more. Yeah, that basically means we can have more bone charms on us, since... Yeah, it, it's more... It's, gives a bit more room, you have it to combine the two runes into one. Yeah. Okay, and so it only takes one space. Now we have crafted, crafted bone charm one. And then, let's see, slight more damage, slight speed. Let's put that one on. Um, yeah, most of these aren't too big, but let's take the Undertaker then. On the steady hand, because we we still got shot up, <laughs> shot at enough times. And next one, Banner. Okay. I don't want to spend too much time with that. Since, well, it, it could take quite a while to make some really good bone charms. Yeah. But still, we'll... I think I saw someone. No, there is someone in there, but this is neutral territory. Oh. Sister says you can beat any in the city. I'm not sure why Stilton's house needed to be shut up tight like this. But what do you think? Can you crack it? Give me a minute. Durante knows how to get in here. Paolo had him feeding old Stilton or watching him. I was gonna pay him off for the secret, but Durante got beat down by the overseers and taken away. I don't even understand what this is. I don't see any seams. Jimmy's sister says it's a gimmick, like he wore it a real locksmith who made it. No, this was built by Kieran Jindosh. Scary smart. He's the one who made the clockwork soldiers for the Duke. So can you open it? Or maybe just solve it? No, I can't do either. 
It's a lock designed by a man who creates machines that kill people. You can keep your money, I'm not touching it. Uh, never mind. Maybe another time. Or not. Let's go. Okay. A bit fitting timing on that with the dreadful music coming up just as they realize that this door might freaking kill them. Okay. So this thing is a puzzle. Yeah, the, the question is, can we do this without picking a side? Yeah, there is, we could, it's, <clears throat> it does say, let's see, or investigate Duarte. Yeah, yeah. We can go after one or the other. <clears throat> and yeah, taking one of them out would definitely <clears throat> affect the chaos level in some way or another. Like if we, you know, if we help the howlers, I'm pretty sure that would be a straight line to high chaos. With the overseers, I'm less certain. Uh, they are zealots, but they are less chaotic, so to speak. But we, we could just go after this and leave them in their stalemate, which wouldn't. It would still be a bit chaotic, but it would at least keep the situation stable. Yeah, and once there's a new duke in command, they may be a bit, bit more boom to just throw both out. This is clearly, I'm guessing these are family names, not of just animals, because there's a lot of stuffs in here. And then, okay, family Wait. heirlooms. Finch, but a finch is a bird. Yeah. We see one bird. Mm. Yeah, but it, it isn't all animal names, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that I know, but at least that one is a bit easy. Yeah, I'm guessing it's more literal in family, that there are... These are family names of, yeah, families in the area, and that these are likely supposed to be like heirlooms of theirs. Let's see. At the dinner party were Lady Winslow, Dr. Markello, Countess Conti, Madame Natsio, and Baroness Finch. The women, the women sat in a row. They all wore different colors, and Baroness Finch wore a jaunty green hat. Lady Winslow was at the far left, next to the guest wearing a purple jacket. The lady in blue sat left of someone in red. Okay, so this is going to be a color... Uh, <coughs> a color... Uh, this is going to be a deduction puzzle. Like, it's giving some hints at the start, then you'll have to shift around the rest of, until things m seem to match up. Right. Uh, I remember that blue outfit because the woman sp uh, spilled her beer all over it. The traveler from Freyport was dressed entirely in white. When one of the guests bragged about her ring, the woman next to her said they were finer in Freyport uh, where she lived. Okay, so the, women, the woman in white sat next to... Uh, the one bragging about the ring. So Lady Natsu showed off a prized snuff tin, to which the lady from Dunwell uh, scoffed, saying it was no match for her diamond. Someone else uh, carried a valuable bird pendant, and when she saw it, the visitor from uh, Dabokva next to her almost spilled her neighbor's whiskey. Countess Conti raised her wine in toast, the lady from Karnica, full of uh, absentee jumped up onto the table, falling onto the guest in the center seat, spilling the uh, poor woman's rum. Then Dr. Markello captivated them all with a story about her wild youth in Brent Alton. In the morning, there were four heirlooms under the table, the ring, war medal, the diamond, and the uh, bird pendant. But who owned each? Hmm. Maybe we don't need him because of this. Uh, that is the riddle for this, but yeah, we need to figure out who Wait. is who. Uh, yes, we He said four items, but there's four people, the five people. Hmm, let's see. Ring, war medal, diamond, and bird pendant. Yeah, four heirlooms, but there's five heirlooms here. Let's see, there's this thing. What is that? Not sure. Let's see. 
all were different colors. Baroness Fence were uh, Lady Winslow far left. Okay. So this one is Winslow. I need to close it. Okay. Two guests were in purple. Hmm. Lady in blue said uh, left up someone in red. Hmm. Be they they all have different drinks as well for some reason it seems. Uh, Freyport dressed entirely in red. Hmm. Uh, we'll get back to that later, since otherwise we're likely to be stuck at that for half an hour. Okay. Four bottle of woven rum for each overseer mask. Help thugs like the Howlers or the Zealots from the Abbey. I just don't know. Hmm. Now the canal smells like piss and guts. Stay on your side or you'll be spitting teeth. Far as I know, you might be an overseer spy. to avoid that for now. Okay, where is Overseer's territory? Oh, hello. At first I thought you were one of Paolo's gang, but you don't look so bad up close. Let's keep the dust out. Somehow, being so close to the Howlers has kept me safe so far. They like me because I pay up every month. All they care about is the money. Well, at least once they have the money, they don't go back on their word, at least. Excuse me, but please stay in the part of the shop open to the public. Uh, let's see. There doesn't seem to be anything nearby. I'm, I'm guessing this is where most of the saves in the game are coming from. Or at least a part of them are. is reasonably close, so let's lock that in. And, oh, of course, blood flies. Okay. And where there's blood flies, there's nice. usually yeah. booze. Yeah. Yep. But not the so mines were a good job. Stilton made sure of it. No one got fired for being injured. Yeah, so they say. The mining office handled things like that. <laughs> And the family committee made sure that the bosses never got too greedy. Kind of a stalemate. Everything worked as long as one side didn't win out over the other. And that's exactly what happened once Stilton disappeared. <sighs> yeah. That is generally how businesses keep rolling uh, yeah, effectively. Keep both sides reasonably happy. And, yeah, nobody will start. <laughs> Thank you, friend. If you're brave and you're looking to make some money, there's a back door to the Crone's Hand Saloon leading to the basement. Okay, that is useful info. Let me have it. What do you think you're doing? Watch out for the overseer. Get your ass out of here if you know what's good for you. Grand guard are a bunch of shitbirds, too. Shitbirds all the way to the top. You take care of this. So we haven't walked into hostile territory yet, but we would be once we cross this. I wonder if you can eavesdrop on that guard guy there. Yeah, I think it was a howler. Uh, yeah, I meant a howler. Overseer territory, I'm guessing. Um, yeah. Let's start with the boxes. That? Yeah, that's enough to spot, even with this. 
Eight rats, blood for eyes. I studied field tactics with Brother Cardoza in the peninsula. The pirate crews there resort to these same dirty tricks. Seems like a good way to take a dot to the belly. Well, the howlers aren't known for their caution. But these aren't too hard to deal with. If you've got a steady hand and you know what cables to cut, you've got to do it Shoot. just right. Okay, so they're setting these up now. Mm. Wait a second. You might want to not be facing the thing that if you're working on it. It'd be like yeah, planting a claymore whilst it's facing something. Maybe this is connected to the spring plate. Is it disabling them? Hmm. Oh, I hate that buzzing sound. Yeah, th this is probably before oh, opening I have a bit of headphones. That sounds like it'll be too real to me. Okay. Um, yeah, it'll... they are disabling them. Okay. Let's head back a bit then. Really? Let a boy Paolo cut them and burn. Maybe the bosses are getting too comfortable. Okay, seems that that guy has run off. Hello there. Let's see. In oh, instant sleep guard. That is going to be useful. And chain lightning. Okay. Oops. Oh, oh, good. To keep the Let's see. I have some upgrade plans for your gear. Instant sleep. You could do business. Going to be very useful in combat. Even though we get rid once again, we want to avoid that as much as possible. And the other one was with the stun mines. Okay. Only I could sell dust I'd be able to use that things. deal. Yeah, uh, actually, they would. If there's any more clockwork uh, things, those could be perfect for they follow a sort of specific path. True. You won't regret it. And, yeah, when I think about it, we really should have used them. Uh, during you know what map this little more scares yeah. off buyers it would even it's work worse overseer zealot come back next time you need something okay so it's friendlier than the others here yes. need to explore we're going to keep uh, yeah, skirting the edges of the hostile territory okay this is as they are in <clears throat> It's another sand dust storm. Another sand storm. That leads to the back of the uh, <clears throat> black market. Same with that, I'm presuming. There, there, there must be some ways of getting in these. Actually, I think that's the clock we saw earlier from the outside, and the yeah. window is open. So that's one way we could probably sneak in here. Bastard. What are you up to? Find another way, brother. No. This path is barred. Ooh, that's what I want. I can't believe this. I've lived in this district for most of my life. If you believe this to be an inconvenience, weigh it against losing your life to one of the howlers. Now go. Someone driven out of their own home by these assholes. That's the last time I give my coin to the Abbey. Hmm. Yeah, okay, yeah. Seems to be yeah. we're about at the end of the neutral territory. Oh. Yeah, it seems like the, even the Abbey here become a gang in a way. Yeah. See? See? I told you! No, no! no. <laughs> now, what info do we have on this Duarte, Durant? It seems there's a howler named Durant who knows the solution to the Jindos locks, but he's been captured by the Oversteers. Okay, so we need to infiltrate their place for that. For now... Maybe not running? Let's see. I 
know I saw the clock through the, the dark side, but it was near an open window. Um, yeah, on the other side of the building. Busy. I think that is an openable window. I'm guessing. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I saw a clock through this. Can we stand on? Yes, we can stand on these. That's going to make reversing things a bit easier. Yeah, don't get seen now. Don't get seen. I'm pretty sure that I saw a window that was open, but none of these matched at the time. I said, told you it's on the other side, on the neutral zone. Track of where it should be. So about here. Good to see you again. Maybe I should have a look at it. Yeah, it's on very different area. But it's yeah, not that different. Like, uh, that guy is just around the corner. Should be somewhere above here. Oh, oh. here it is. Okay, that that makes more sense. That it's barred off. Oh. Did I just hear a trap go off? Wait, where did the other one go? I'm guessing further up that way. Unless he was the one that triggered the other trap. Oh, just leaves. There's one of them. Let's not stick to the, uh, too closely to the end. And yeah, getting agility is going to make getting armed so much easier. Or at least more cost efficient. This dentistry model reminds me of the overseer masks in Morley. Okay, so that's what they are. But, uh, with agility, it's going to cost us a lot less in mana to uh, be getting around. Maybe there's someone in here. Well, luckily just no fly. Nest. Yeah. Well, they must have just wandered in. Hello, I miss these. Sleep darts. Makes sense that there be sleep... It sort of makes sense that there be sleep darts in a dentist's place. What? Some of the sandstorm coming in. You stand accused of actions for by the teachings of the Abbey of the Everest. Given that each crime was witnessed or later verified by sworn and faithful overseers in good stand. No trial is required. What's that so Fuck you folks. What's going on? Oh, that's a grenade. Oh, 
Alright, at least we stopped the execution. Alright, we postponed the execution. Mark. I pray that was not the dude we were looking for. Wait, where is she? Uh, well, yeah, I probably should have looked around a bit more than that, but they were just going to shoot him right there and there. Uh, How fine do you know? Uh, that one seems to be in a different dress. I will ask again clothes. today if this is true. Or actually, that one, that one was shot earlier. That is Duarte. They already executed him back before we even arrived. Yeah, wait, we would have a notification for that, wouldn't we? Yeah, we still need to investigate him. We don't know who he is or how he looks. Ow! Okay, we picked his ass so hard we based him through solid matter. Huh? What's going on? Whatever may come. Whatever you can't stay hidden on. forever. Let's have a fair have fight. A look, huh? No one agent of the fight. Oh, that's a bunch of them. I can't really take them seriously with how muffled they all sound. Okay. Just have fun with each other there. Just go yep. around it. Slide for no particular reason. I think I finally realized why. Why the, they look familiar to me? They look like a very religious fanatical version of Jason Warhees. Only with their masks in black. She can't have gone far. Where is she? Dead? You don't yeah, they use swords anyway. instead of machete. Well, to be honest, there isn't too much difference between swords and machetes. Yeah, when you're so sure if you could class a machete into the sword class or not, then uh, however, almost, almost don't speak a Swedish there. The vice overseer hasn't shared his plans with me. He's upstairs now, so I oh, assume God. we'll learn something before long. I'd wager it'll all be over soon. I'm surprised it's taken us this long to deal with a mob of ruffians. You know what the strictures say about oh, brother? The howlers are merciless, and Paolo carries the outsider's blessing. Some talisman come straight from the jaws of the void itself. Keep that in mind, or you'll find yourself bleeding out in some alley. Okay, good thing that I checked. Brother Nikos. Because that dog would have been... That dog would have alerted them instantly. Though they still might, depending on how close we need to get. Can we mind the dog we need to with, do with the... That, that Right, I was asking, can we mind link the dogs with the people to knock them all out at the same time? Possibly, maybe. Uh, these are the corridors, so I'll have to be careful. I meant to actually use dark vision to look around in first, but yeah. I accidentally jumped straight in. Okay, don't turn around. Hello. <laughs> Go and have a nap along with your friends here. Okay. There we go. Nice and quiet. No need to look there. Maybe someone knocked out among the sleepy. That's kinda. Brit. Oh. For a moment, I thought you st stole his sword. <laughs> that would be funny. But we got a confiscation room key. Um, I'm not sure I have this. Okay. I'm not going to mess around with that clock in there, though. It would be kind of funny. <laughs> Documents here. Then we've got that guy here. It's keeping us all busy with some standing guards. Can we can? Better to just choke them out where we find them so they don't come running later once we 
eventually get spotted again. So there hasn't been a single mission where we have, <laughs> where we got, well, there's one where we had perfect stealth, I think. Or actually, no, it was no kills. Yeah, that was last time. Let's see. Litany on a white cliff. Extra from a series of overseer invocations by higher overseer uh, Seer Abram Templeton. And I say to your brothers, it is here that we make our stand as a uh, righteous force against the growing darkness. It is here that we unite against the spirits of the unknown that would drag us screaming into the night, never to return to our homes, to our families. Together we will serve as a rod to those who would stray from the herd before the foggy gray waste <coughs> and of the outsider. We will burn a bright fire with our, our virtuous actions so that others will not lose their way. And to those who choose to wander beyond the walls of our homes and far places, we will strike at them swiftly before they whisper to their neighbors, filling their hearts with strangeness and doubt. I think this was in the original game as well, or in, in the first Dishonored. I don't think so, but it was something similar. Could be. Do they sound like people that are against exploration? Let's take that, and that, and we might as well take these. Actually, we could dump them in here probably, and the heck is that supposed to be? Some sort of void? Artwork I think that's or something? A, yeah, it might be a consecrated art piece. I'm surprised they not burnt it. And also... Okay. You are now confiscated. <coughs> Wait. Try to close the door? Or... Well, we can close the door once we knock this one out. A bit too early there. Oh, it was already closed, all right. I'm kind of curious what would happen if I tried to close it now, but it would probably rack home to death. Yeah, let's not. That's no way out. already had the location <laughs> marked out. Yes. But that should make things easier. I've been sneaking. Yeah, we are close to this guy now, but we're here for Durante. Not Beer. Uh, oh. How are you supposed to say it again? Welcome, more for you meant you were close to Durante. She was quick. The Howlers are cowards, brother. But we accounted for six of them. I'm glad it's you in the end. If I have to go, it warms my spirit to spend my last minutes with a true friend. You honor me. I wish there was another way, but it's a gut wound as bad as any I've seen. Better this than a day or two of agony. Then I go, and I keep the strictures close to my heart. May there be no discord in my spirit. Hmm. Goodbye, Overseer. Fade from this world. Was that like pouring one out for a friend or something? And then he stands guard. Or is there a vigil? But for a short moment. Curse those harlot bastards and their black soul boss. <clears throat> He's going that way. So this is their infirmary, I'm guessing. <clears throat> Pardon. Uh, let's see. It looks like we can get up there. 
Sorry to disturb you, Rachel. It's time for me to sleep as well. Sounds like it's right next to me. Wait, you know, you did not knock him out, right? Hmm? You did not knock him out, right? Yeah. If the animation for killing would have been a lot faster. <laughs> Book of the Fallen. Inscribed here are the names of the Abbey faithful who have fallen waging war against the heretic Paolo in a contest for the heart and soul of this district. That is quite a list. I doubt it is going to be of much use to us. Yeah, we can get to the upper level here. Just need to be careful that there isn't someone right above it when we jump up there. I broke something there. Where is this oh, round tape? I'm guessing if anywhere they'd likely keep him in the basement or something. Mm. Did I say he, they were keeping him in a basement? That's what, what no last time they kept him on the second floor or the third floor or something. It, Let's see. Their mission it, it, mission Investigator outpost. Oh, right, outpost. And I ought to save, apparently. Alright. <laughs> Pardon? Okay, there's the overseer and the bodyguard. Talking about his plans, being in here somewhere. Hmm. We we want if if we can't uh, if we can't do this our own way, then we want to yeah <clears throat> we want to bring Paolo over here to get the overseer's help since they're at least somewhat more honorable. They seem more honorable. Do. This entire floor is just abandoned. Hello? And some lore. Stilton. Instant time. Oh, that, that's Stilton. Okay. What is this? Anyone here? I Show yourself. Ready to begin. Our speaker tonight is none other than Aramis Stilton, who owns the mines where those you love toil beneath the ground. Mr. Stilton is known for his fairness, and that reputation is not for show. Welcome to the stage, a friend to the Miners Family Committee, Aramis Stilton. Good workers, good people, thank you for having me. Our annual dinner is always a special time, and I cherish the conversations and the toasts as we renew our bonds. My closest friend in this world, Name some of you will no doubt guess is known for this saying. We rise together with the same dawn. We feel the same wind on our faces. We fish the same ocean. These are words worth remembering, spoken by a man who fills my heart with joy. As you dine tonight, surrounded by your families, and the other miners from your teams. Let those words echo in your thoughts. And above all, please enjoy yourselves. You've all earned it. Okay. He does sound like a good man. Yeah. Hmm. I I kinda hope he's alive and well. 
has been three years. So we'll just have to see. How the hell are you this loud? I think we found him. Just double checking that there isn't some jackass standing right behind him. Knock knock, shut up. Downstairs, I'm thinking. Ah, there he is. I do have to say, be still ex or you extremely stingy no. with the darts. Okay. I don't even... yeah, we, we only have five at a time. Yeah, and you should find more. We may not have been using them. I should probably use them more for dealing with groups. Let's see here. Yeah, spe do yeah, especially when we do link many together, then the one dot is fine. Says yeah. it's one dot for like three or four people. Like of sermons. And yeah, with that we could take out a maximum of 20 at a time. Or, or we could make uh, take out 20 total with five darts. That's yeah. It, so. Sermon for <laughs> mid Eve, uh, mid heart Eve. Uh, pious opponents and my righteous brothers from the Abbey, welcome all. We are being tested in these times, tested by the outsider. He searches daily for weakness, for fear, and what form this test? Blood flies, binding vermin that are the very representation of our moral decay or corrupted spirit. Means of the outsider escape from the void. And all the while he laughs. Each infestation brings him ecstasy, each death a victory for him battle one in his endless war against our steadfastness <clears throat> pardon but he needs an ally in our world where does the outsider find these traitors in those places most downtrodden crumbling buildings stinking whorehouses and filthy back alleys where fishmongers toss the innards of their cats in the sewers where mudlarks collect drop trinkets among putrid human waste and in the alehouses trust not these dark places and their denizens the mark of the outsider is upon them now uh, let us now contemplate the strictures as we listen to uh, the hymn, Corruption at my heel, I hasten away. Or maybe they wouldn't turn to the outsider, even if they would. Wait, <laughs> if you actually did you, help them. Did you see the misery inerts to trinkets? You yes. you, did you say fishermen toss trinkets in, yep. into the alleys or something? Where fishmongers toss the innards of their cash in the sewers where mudlarks collect drop trinkets. Ah, uh, alright, alright. I worried a moment, I got worried. Okay, so this is doubling up as their armory slash workshop, I'm guessing. And... Okay, this is just back in the hall. That kind of makes sense, but at least then you have this workshop nearby if you need to, well, make repairs. And this just leads to the abandoned floor up here. So, yeah. Now we go down. Obviously. Okay, so there is an elevator. Okay, it doesn't work. Uh, wait. Was that a blood fly? A more normal fly, I think. But Looks for big. I thought that thing was that thing was going to collapse down into the basement. Same. I actually oh, thought no. the same. Detainee Durante. Uh, Detainee was a man called Detente. He admitted entering the home of Aramis Stilton on occasion, but died before revealing how he came in possession of the Jindlock Lost Combination. Uh, detainee is of no further use to us. His possessions have been passed on to vice overseer Brian for inspection upstairs in his office. And uh, what a tennis has disposed of the detainee's body. 
<laughs> so back up we go then. Yeah, maybe maybe his. Hopefully his uh, body has something. Uh, at least this means we are not gonna need to escort someone. Sounds like they they disposed of the body already, from what they said. Probably just buried in dust or something. Yeah, but they did say his items were somewhere else. Yeah, so we could still find his uh, belongings. And wait, there's a book in there. That's Behind you. No, no, on the oh, floor. Okay. Was selected say of the overseer. Uh, not too important, but let's see. Uh, let not the eyes linger upon pretty things. Yeah, better to pluck them out than to rest them long in temptations. One heretical thought inevitably, yeah, inevitably, leads inevitably to more, as a single errant weed soon overtakes the field of weeds. <clears throat> Pardon yet again. Notice, there is only one part, it is the out and job of the outsider to convince you there are many. The duty of the tongue is to speak the seven strictures, all else is heresy. Uh, burn the non-believers from your midst, for they are a blight upon the earth. Uh. Among the guises of the outsider, the orphan with outstretched hands, the uh, strumpet with luscious word, the scholar with copious tones. Uh, of course, they're anti-intellectual as well. Uh, yeah. The heretic cannot be redeemed except by oil and flame. We are the starving hordes for their hunger for more than sustenance. In spirit they are destitute, in judgment are they lacking. Live in silence for an un still untruth or a misspoken word. Uh, for a single untruth or misspoken word can lead to ruin many times its magnitude. Do not accept the invitation of the outsider. The drink he offers is poison and on his hearth death simmers. I get the feeling we might be better off if we take out both of these idiots. Because, yeah, they yeah. are quote-unquote honorable, but they are also a lot more restrictive with all their other bullshit. And very harsh as well. Yeah. The problem we're going to have now, though, is to get into the office and get the stuff without, well, setting off the overseer. Yeah, as I said, I really dislike both groups. Extremely a lot. Like his one is just a yeah, actually both for arseholes. Oh hello, silver graph projector. Okay. There's two in the corner there. Overseer is there. Or the vice overseer I should see. <laughs> why, why, vice is always such an interesting word since it can mean so many things. Like in this it means the second in command ish. But it can also be a grip and yeah, also be um, not really a sin or something, but yeah, you know what I mean. That you have <clears throat> in old police uh, structures, you also had the uh, vice department or something. Uh, oh, yeah, there's so many. I barely able to remember all. <laughs> to stand there the entire time. So if so, we can just sneak around. Uh, just in freaking case. Because we know how my luck. Okay, uh, there. Those two are praying, not paying attention. And yeah, he's just busy staring at nothing from the looks of it. Oh. Let's see, we can hmm. We could still knock them out, can't we? <sighs> well, if we're forced to if we're forced to seek their help, we probably want to keep him alive, uh, at, at least uh, conscious, so uh, he can <laughs> welcome us with Paolo's corpse or his body, at least. So for now, we I guess we'll just have to yeah wait for them, you know, wait for him to. Yeah, turn his attention somewhere else again. Uh, we 
could just chuck something somewhere, but they would also lure these chuckle fucks. And again, we have... We don't really know how stealthy we can... We are with Shadow Walk. Nope. So we don't have to go check it out this time now, because he's going back to stare at uh, nothing. Here... Vice Overseer's report. The Howler detainee downstairs gave us key details pertaining to his criminal associates and their heretical leader, Paolo. Debauchery at all hours and acts of certain witchcraft, the likes of which even our sacred music cannot dispel. Paolo is every bit as vile and corrupt as we suspected. With his dying breath, the detainee revealed that the Duke himself has Paolo uh, sending food into the barred and shuttered home of Aramis Stilton. The place is kept secure by the so-called Jindar's Lock. No doubt the Duke obtained the lock combination from Jindas and Paolo passed it on to the detainee. The weave corruption is endless. Okay. That sort of confirms. Yeah. It is just it is testimony gains from through torture, so it's not in our world at least it wouldn't be applicable for anything. But if that was the truth, yeah, then that shows another crime of the Duke. Let's see. Enter Durante's office. Okay. And that's in the Cronus Hand Saloon. Okay, so we can get out of here now. Uh, up there. Is that lead us straight back to the freaking uh, over vice overseer? Sneak through here again. Leave this dumbass on the couch. Wait, they left something boiling? Yep. Okay, there are no... There's one up there. On the roof. Is there anyone up here? Oh, come on. Any his quarters, I'm guessing, then? Oh, oh come on. Uh, well, that's one we're missing out for now, then. Okay. Wait. The whistling is back. Yeah, one of these jackasses outside. Okay. That's the neutral territory, I think. There's, yeah, there's the data guards. Alright. Hmm. Put that away. Back is the voice of the outsider. There, there, there. What you kind of briefing that? was that? Yeah, they, they wear these complete face masks. Yeah. Yeah, the, the masks aren't completely covering their face, but they certainly have a sack over their head, so... Yeah, that would limit their breathing a bit. Make it a bit difficult. Yeah, yeah you can have a mask that can allow you to breathe better, but... Yeah, they, they just choose something that's a bit, a bit too tight-fitting on the face. Oh, hello, I didn't see this here. If the Duke wasn't running the mines night and day, our children wouldn't be choking themselves to sleep at night on the dust. It's easy to blame the Duke, but we both depend on the profits from industry. The mines are the lifeblood of this city. No, the Duke could have continued operations like his father did. Fast enough to sustain the city without burying us all in dust. How? There are twice as many people living in Karnaka now. If the mine slowed down, half the people in my family would be out of work. What's the point of being worked into an early grave? Just so you can afford to eat for a while? Yeah, both reasonable points. There's number two. There. Yeah. And I suspect that they could, uh... 
if it's a, it's too slow, then they could do something to improve it without drowning the city in dust. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I saw a book, but no, it was a Dust again. I'd hummed that sandstorm song, but I'd forgotten how it goes. Or something like Sandstorm song? What? Uh, that's a. It's a. It's a song from the 90s, or song, it's more a musical track, from Darude, called Sandstorm, and it was quite popular for a while, and it's a bit of a meme as well. I'll link it to you after this. Okay. Let's see. Duke hosts inauguration celebration. An extravagant inauguration ceremony for Empress Delilah Caldwin took place in the Grand Palace several nights ago as a show of support for all Sokonans. Guests at the event say that the festivities were not dampered by the absence of the Empress, who remains in Dunwall, busy with her official duties. In her place, a larger-than-life silver statue made in her image graced uh, the ceremony. Always lavish and full of surprises, it is no wonder Duke Abel, uh, Abelle <coughs> wishes to be known as the Joyful Duke. The Grand Palace added that the uh, absurd gossip regarding... Grand Palace added that the absurd gossip regarding our ambassadors returning to Karnica from Dunwall Tower with odd markings on their uh, faces, uh, uttering gibberish as if speaking a dead language, are preposterous rumors with no base in reality. Okay, she's now also just outright mind-controlling dignitaries, it seems. So how do you people get outside when there's no door? <coughs> We have the bedroom here, the bathroom here, and then just... Actually, they, that is probably how it's opened, like a security door. And it, make, it would make sense they did keep that up <laughs> all of the time, since we're all in the middle of a gang war. Okay, excuse me, ladies. And we're back in neutral territory. This is a bit bigger than I thought. Or this is just a dead zone between the two territories. Let's there. I do think I'm going to need to take a bit of a break in a uh, in a few minutes, though. Oh. Wait, it's not a ball ball game, is it? No. There we go. Like that. Okay, someone has been doing their studies. Amadeo Monti. Uh, Amadeo Monti, artist. Uh, draws advertisements and portraits for the newspapers. Lives near uh, the dockyard. Spotted him when he lost his shirt in a game of dice at the crone's hand. Seems to have interesting ink on his back. Really wants uh, to check it out. Madop definitely has some very unusual tattoos. I might have to see him again, once or twice. Take time to make a good sketch. He's cute, so that part will be easy. Uh, but I need to be careful. I think we were followed. Probably one of those limp dicks from the Abbey. <laughs> Yet they got him. Okay. Hmm. Hello? Reminder, check out the whale. Heard that one of the whaling ships from Santiago Fisheries brought in a big fat one, bleeding all over the docks for a while because of an argument over port taxes. I need to go take a look at uh, one of these nights, because it's totally rotten. I can probably snatch a few gallons of blood and grease to refill my, uh, ref you know, my ink stocks. Okay. Oh, uh, hello there in the chat, uh, Wolfie33. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Uh, hello! I hope things are going well uh, with you. What is this? Mindy's tech? Wait, that Mindy? Left arm, but yeah, these seem. I'm guessing these are the tattoos she had. 
Uh, let's see. Hey, Drakir, it's me, Gaz. Yeah, grant yourself. <laughs> yeah. Uh, things are going reasonably here, I'd say, though I am going to take a quick break in a few minutes because, yeah, nature is starting to call and, well, she's ah. starting to stream. Yeah, she's starting to scream. <laughs> so I'll just check out a bit more here and then I'll probably call it for a minute or five and then have that time to stream. Uh, okay, so, uh, yeah, I'll be back in a few. Uh, Pause the clock and yeah, be right back. Best of luck. Okay, back. I guess that is what I get for downing half a liter of iced tea already. <clears throat> yeah, actually, okay. yeah. Tea does do that effect to you. And when I come back. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look further then. Just a bottle there. Yeah, oh, I should probably say that. Hello, gas. Uh, I'm done. I think what? I just got. What did you say he was using for name on the Twitch? Uh, Wolf33. Yeah, I was gonna say Wolf, for that sounds more... less insultive. Okay. For I think people might misunderstand uh, when I say gas. <laughs> okay, and they say hey mate in turn. <laughs> okay, so this place is a tattoo parlor. Okay. I'm not sure if I'll ever take tattoos myself, because in part I just really hate needles. Yeah. For me, I like the idea of tattoos, I find, can find a very really nice and all that. Probably is regretting afterwards. Yeah, it's a bit more permanent than a... Yeah, it, it's a bit permanent. So it well, could not... be something that you need to think long and hard about. Well, it's not exactly permanent, since you can remove them, just... It's pricey! Yeah, and a bit painful as well, I believe. Since you either have to take over a new... Uh, <coughs> you either need to take a, uh, a, a tattoo over it, or some sort of laser... Laser. Cleaner. Laser surgery. But they basically burn it off. And it's not just one time, you need to go back to so that you do it over and over and over again till it's gone. Yeah. And Wolf so, in the chat saying, love the idea of tattoos scared of needles. 
there. <laughs> Place. Uh, yeah, just this overseer here watching someone double jump in midair <laughs> and they're not giving a care apparently. that there's some crossing point here. So you might just need to get the key or there's a different entrance on the side there. Oh. Okay, just lead back. And yeah, there's another door that we can break and what is that light? Is that just because of the glass? Eee! I don't think these windows are s wide enough for us to crawl through. But yeah, I guess that confirms it. The photos are called silver graphs here. And with the silver mine, they have plenty of silver. Well, it is a lot of silver dust. Do you know there will be too much silver dust laying about? Okay, good point for the game, that uh, they don't just stare wide-eyed as I just teleport up to the freaking roof. Oh, here we go. Put the dust bowl again. You can't hide from us. Okay, there's the office. Alive. Something's there about a witch and a hound or something. I think they just spoke about eating a hound. Oh, there's a lot of them here. Uh, of course. A lot of stuff to knock over as well. Donk! Ah. throw at these stupid Wait, wait, there's a burner! Not... We can turn that on and off, but we can't actually move it. So the whole blood flies! They somehow fly into that thing. Any alcohol? Sleep dart. Get that other dart. <laughs> or am I full on? Let's, yeah, I get full on them. So I don't. I couldn't even grab it if I managed to get it. I have to say, a, a lot of these nests appear. A lot of these infestations appear in medical buildings, from the looks of it. Make, make some sense since there'd be a lot of blood in there and their bodies. Yeah, and they probably also, as you saw that I found a dead one, probably still trying to find a method to deal with them. Okay. This drops us in the lower area. And yeah, it's probably just takes probably takes like one escape blood fly to make a nest. Bloodfly zombies, that's a new one. First Red Plague zombies, and now Bloodfly zombies. 
Oh! Yeah, I'm just going to... Oh, come on. <laughs> we just added upstairs. Actually, oh. What is it? Oh. That is that noise. Also, they don't respond whilst we're in this form. But we can't grab my friends. Why are you hiding? Oh. I thought we went downstairs originally there, but no. I'm worried that they actually made those into a part of the a high mind or something. Seem a bit smarter than the ones we saw in the last game. Yeah, they're the infected there were basically feral. Let's see. From his hands, Doretta's office. That way. Okay. What the heck are we even exploring here? Is there not that? There's a room there. Bye bye. Okay, so we we now do know that Shadow Walk lets us get around these places quite well. It is a bit pricey in its cost. That woman is gone. I beg your pardon. Jehe calls a bad woman. Rude. There's our entrance. And here comes our cover. Okay, you're just minding your own business. So you stay out of mind. get too expensive for the Duke to run the mines. The workers stop digging, the Duke will see that mines producing at half speed are more profitable than mines producing nothing. Better working conditions and less dust in the streets, we'd be happy to up our payments. There's a way to satisfy everybody. First, in this district, then across the city. The people who work the mines have more power than they know. Not going on that one. Uh, yeah. That's just a mafia uh, jackass. Yeah, that's definitely a hidden agenda. Maybe I'll take it, right, I'm stepping away from that. And well, he's working with the dude. So. They never just beat that they'd be double crossing each other on that. Also, if that is true about having him having to be killed Maybe twice, then that would make uh, but they can be kind of pricey. Then that would explain why he'd still be here even if you shot him uh, when we first encountered him. Yeah, like he needs to be killed twice before sunset. Yeah. If that is true. I mean otherwise this mission would go quite a bit differently if he did stay dead. And that probably would mean he would remember, unless, unless he didn't see you do it. So these are his quarters. Okay, taking that. 
keep an eye on him if he Here. gets closer. And hello. Vera Mori and the affix of her skin. Mori, Mori. Oh, he oh hello Vera Mori. I remember that name. Yeah, that was a name that came up in Dishonored 1 as well, I think. Or at least in the last name. So now, let's have a chat. In case you're wondering, Paolo's not one of those unhinged cultists who believe I will grant them favors if they leave a big enough offering or play just the right musical notes. He doesn't care a fig for me. But he put up this shrine because he found the hand of an old witch I knew once. And Paolo saw right away that it pays to have an edge. Sometimes, Pieces of us linger long after we're gone. The Duke of Circonos inherited a vibrant city and wasted no time stripping it to the bone. What will he leave behind? And what about you? Who will you leave to pick up the pieces here in the Jewel of the South? Okay. Uh, one thing I noticed there in the background, uh, there was that uh, structure that was depicted in that painting in the confiscation room, the overseer outpost. Ah, maybe it has a dwelling. Wait, did I say dwelling? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Well, people usually say I'm a bit old-fashioned, or that in some speech mannerism. Especially, I'm very polite. Not stupid. So, dark and it's cold. Don't get I'd surprise myself I use some uh, terminologies. It's, we need to get in there, but we don't want to set up that guy. Well, we don't want to set up the entire saloon at the very least. Okay, so Dark Vision also focuses our sound or our hearing forwards more. <clears throat> Pardon yet again. Okay, he does move. He moved backwards, okay. So we can slip in behind here. Let's just knock you out completely. Nope. And we got spotted. They used to clash bomb themselves. I bet you've been living a soft life. Oh, Keep that nice scarf cut you into the face. Out here. You I'm should not wander outside without a body. Oh, crush. Let him go. Parasite. You're the one who shot oh. him. Oh, hello. She's dead. Uh, okay. Uh, I did not expect rats. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. I need to be a bit more careful there because there's windows to be seen through. Now where does this put us? Okay, just here. Put it on. Okay. So the, are there stairs leading down from here? And then I find the stairs. Okay. So going to the... Was one to ambush him. Think you look tough? Time to Hide in your you face. He I'll keep that nice scar. You're not kidding. They are actually using yeah. half scissors. Come on. Come on. Oh. Take long. I want to keep these nice clothes for I someone. Bet you've been living a... I'll cut you in half. 
I'll crush you, you parasite! Oh, wait. Go off on him. That's a miss. There we go. I, sh yeah, I should just go back to the dart straight away. And at least that wasn't the entire saloon this time. Yeah, the, the only time I, I wish I guess to knock someone out by, you know, choking them is when you're definitely sure you're not gonna end up, yeah, you know, usually end up someone getting killed because you accidentally used them as a meat shield. What are you? Okay, I, I was plucking them off so they wouldn't break. Uh, hello, the hell is... Oh, that's one of those monkey heads. Is In a collar? In a shirt, actually. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's... Okay, someone probably had a bit of a fun idea of uh, a trophy. Yeah. And Sounds... those monkeys are actually terrifying. It feels rare to find an animal that doesn't look terrifying in this game. Yep. <laughs> okay, now we can take this guy out without setting off everyone. Did we just pull him over his suit? <laughs> over his chair? Maybe. There. Okay. Look, almost natural. Durante's room. Oh, no, Durante got himself nicked by the Abbey boys, which means that they've got uh, his office key. And it means he might have told them how to open the tin dock lock. I need you to find a way to open Durante's door, and no burning the building to the ground is not an option. I also want you to start dropping off food for Old Stilton until we find someone to replace Durante. Now, once you manage to get his office open, you'll find all the details inside. Be very careful when you go into Stilton's manor. The overseers do have the code to the Jindas lock. They might want to take a peek inside too. Okay, so someone or at least something is still alive in there. Ah, there, code. Let's see. This is from our friend the Duke. You'll need it when you take food into Steelton's house. Leave the supplies and make sure the old man has water. Okay, so he he is alive still. And remember, no one else sees this combination. No one. Pinch, diamond, uh, Natsurio, snuff, uh, snuff tin. Okay. Markello, it down. metal, bird pendant, and ring. Okay. Oh, wait. Did that uh, get added in your notes? Yeah. In all of oh, these things fate. we've picked near the top have gone in here. Oh, fake goodness. making that noise. Oh, a bone charm <laughs> under my nose. Blade ballad. Okay. Crown, it's dark and it's cold. We have what we came for. Look around a little bit more for anything else of value that we can be making. You mean on the table there? Next to you. Yep. He seriously walked past a wallet and a few coins. Oh, okay, now that we have the combination, let's take that as well. The, the markers of the other two have, of our targets have been removed. Okay, someone's fancy place. Uh, careful. Yeah, there's a bunch of them downstairs. And their howling is worse enough when they're not trying to attack us. Okay. Okay, back in neutral territory. Still that one there. Actually, we haven't gone in here yet. Coughing <coughs> can't be a good sign, whatever that was. 
Nothing nearby that we can just throw at these things. I don't know, there's a pillar, so I thought those were some big ass seeds. Yeah, same here! Screw so, these guys. Burning holy fire! Begin. Go. We have a good amount of runes now, I think. Hmm. Hmm. Pardon? And, uh, what, I wanna, is, is this damn thing actually wax? Of a sorts, I'm guessing. I wonder if you can use them for make candles. Oh, hello. Check out housing. Yeah, I just randomly come across this. Uh, that way. Uh, what was that code? Oh, it says right as we are. Uh, let's see. Pinch, diamond. Do we just have to put them in the right. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Th we just need to connect the right one with the right. Or do we also have to figure out the order? Hello, with metal. Run slow. Bird. And T. Okay, so the, the order didn't matter. It worked. The information was correct. Okay. Okay, that was the entire level on its own. But on kid? Uh, yeah, one that... Um, <clears throat> one that we were choking out, but then got attacked with. Alright, I, I was worried that, that they were counted the ones that were got executed. Well, okay, one we got, got executed and one ran away. We got all the runes, all the paintings, only missed one blueprint. And we missed a lot of bone charms. Special actions uninvolved. I get the feeling that my, if we had taken out the both of them, that w also would have been something here. But yeah, better to leave them at the stalemate at the moment and deal with them later. Let's see, a crack in the slab. A strange ritual was uh, ritual was performed three years ago in Aristilton's manor involving Delilah Copperspoon and her followers. Once inside, find out what you can about Delilah's secrets. Yeah, they've probably turned this into a stronghold for a coven. Time is an odd thing. Growing up, I was excited about what the years might hold. About the places I'd visit. I recall childhood moments with my mother on her throne and my father, a figure of mystery. I remember the rat plague, mother's passing, and all that happened at the Hound Pits pub. And all this. I just want to put an end to Delilah's reign and get my father back. This house holds her secrets. Delilah pulled herself up from tragedy, grabbing the Empire and changing it to her liking. With Duke Luca Abel, she transformed a coddled dilettante into a schemer who helped her take my throne. She's made herself immortal, and even my father's sword couldn't end her life. I'm going to undo all she's done. And next time, I'll hold on to the things I cherish. Just a bit tighter. Don't grab on too That's tightly. You might I feel drained by this place. Wait, she be drained? Oh dear. And I still noticed something about the fountain. Is that supposed to be this world's stingray or meta ray? Oh, there's the rest of the tail. Okay. That, that looks at least normal. I wouldn't be surprised if instead its venom is so deadly it'll. <laughs> 
it'll kill you in a second flat or something. That's a thing, Hilliard. I think, I think that's pretty much what's happened to uh, a certain uh, Australian uh, animal documentary. Yeah, it wasn't the thing. Now, it was in part the venom that got him, but it was more the fact that he got stabbed in the heart. Oh. Yeah, that uh, kind of speeds up the process a bit. Almost to the point of overkill. But, but I, I, I don't mind... It, it was Steve Irving, was it? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't mind him as a kid. A lot. But even as a kid, I felt like, maybe you should not get that close. Yeah. It, it's clear that he loved the animals that he worked with. And his kids even have that now today. But yeah, being that close comes with its own risks. Stilton sealed off from the rest of the district. Rams. That looks like normal rams. This place is too quiet. And I'm not expecting any velociraptors in this place. Another one of these, and the heck? Yeah, we've seen that before. Some sort of octopus, and what's with this heartbeat? Don't tell me that Delilah has done what the outsider has done to Jessamine. I know you think I don't belong here. Insufferable elitist. Could that be Stilton? Him away so I can at least see yeah, there he is. He is still alive then. Oh, now I see what he must see me by drains. In and out, like the wind. Our mana is completely drained. Uh, hello, Buckethead. We'll be getting started soon. The Duke's beloved. Is coming back. Okay, that is bad news for us if Delilah is headed this way. Lily barricaded in here. I dreamed the Duke and I were hunting. But the deer had bases. Okay. There's something going on. I very much doubt that shadow of him, or that isn't the shadow of him. Does the shadow look normal, but I get the feeling that there is something very wrong with him. Yeah. Same. And also, st st stop. You, you're supposed to open the kitten can and eat the content, not the pool can. Oh, it is a good source of iron. Wait, what? Okay, so that is him. Hold up. Either they hear hallucination that wastes me down there, or... Uh, he may have oh, eldritch horrors old. in the mines. Days, <laughs> the dances we had here. Wait, has she drained his life force to make herself immortal? That that just means he's going to need another target soon enough. Um, yeah, let's go meet the man. Time is leaking, coming out of the walls. It's ruining the carpets. You Collect know, yourself, Mr. Stilton. Quilts, will you? I feel. Three years ago, something inside Aramis Stilton snapped like a cheap lock. A part of him and a part of this house never left that evening. The Duke's inner circle are still gathered here, setting their grand plan into motion. Delilah's plan. And a part of Aramis Stilton is always here, still breaking. The Void is not exactly a place, and it's much older and stranger than you could ever know. 
It watches you from within. And at the heart of Stilton's house, the void is leaking through a pinprick, left behind by Delilah's little trick. Even magic is perverted here, and things don't work like they should. Take this. Imagine it's a kind of timepiece. Go and watch the Duke and Delilah. See for yourself what they did. Okay, so the veil is so weak here that he can show up in person. Like it's going to be cold. Timepiece. Use the timepiece to travel between past and uh, present and past. Uh, change timelines. Okay. Uh, F to fold or unfold the lens, showing the other timeline. Okay, that is going to be interesting. To change timelines to circumvent obstacles and escape enemies. You can change timelines when an obstacle occupies your destination. Time passes in both timelines, regardless of which you occupy. Changes made in the past have consequences in the present. No. Uh -oh. I am instantly worried. Go to Dunwall and tell the Empress that the Duke is in the garden taking up corpses. And he has learned how to sing. She'll know what you mean. I can't stand the way they look at me. Ashworth, Jindosh, and little Luca grown up. They will never accept me. Not really. She clawed her way back! Ashworth, help open the way! He's, he's, he's part of him, what he's saying is nonsense, but the other, that bit, it's all yeah. The one in the void hears everything. The previous bit sounded like, uh, yeah, Brianna Ashworth helping, uh, <clears throat> yeah, talking, that was talking about Ashworth helping Delilah escape the void. By the void. Your guests are waiting in the study. The Duke is demanding refreshments, and I can't get in without the combination. There's a note on the door, Captain Winterbottom. What? Hmm. He, he's out back. I need the code to the study. It's in his notebook, ma'am, but he keeps it with him. Thank you, Corporal. Speaking bluntly, I really don't like Stilton's guests. Earlier, I got my ass chewed out by the royal curator. What's her name? You're talking about Brianna Ashworth, I believe. Yes, that's her. She's an odd one. Anyway, keep up the good work. Thank you, Captain. Okay, now things are getting curious. Hmm. What exactly did they do? Was she brought back here? I dragged my heels to avoid lessons as a girl. Now it sounds like such a welcome diversion. Piano, mansion. Like, is there the ever only a way out of here is through the present, using this timepiece? Okay, we don't have. Uh, still, we don't have access to our mana. But yeah. <clears throat> Pianos, mansions, a bit of detective work. This thing is going to get into play with something, isn't it? Just pray it doesn't turn alive. It's a good thing that we got the agility. <laughs> There's a lot of pianos around here. Why? Piano room. That thing of bones that Ashworth made. It's on the ceiling. I hear it at night. Bones from the deep, far beneath the waves. A whale bone coming? Either way. Here we go. Now we gotta be careful. Yeah, we can't zip around. Stilton's home was quite nice before. Whatever happened. Okay, that's still there on the 
other side. There. We can't use the dark vision anymore to gain info on if someone is around the corner or not. Does this maybe need to start save scumming? Uh, not that, but we do have to be very careful. Somebody seems something. Honestly, why does Stilton even bother trying to impress people like the Duke and that curator? He's better than they'll ever be. Okay, the kitchen. And they just drop things on the floor. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, let's get back up here because we are uh, not we're not out of time yet. It was just a 10 p.m. alert, but okay, we have only still a few minutes left. Uh, let's see. We can just transition an eye on things here through the lens. That guy there, that guy there. Let's see, probably, that yeah, that's probably how we sneak by. Yeah, <laughs> why bother trying to avoid their gaze when you can avoid their entire timeline? Oh dear. Someone over there. This is, I think this has been done before, but it is still very curious that you can just see. Oh, of course, an obstacle. So we can't shift, we can't see. Th things like this have been done before, but not in this way, I think. Like, yeah, so this is... One of the main things of Soul Reaver is switching between two, uh, <clears throat> two uh, realms. Yeah, I think I've seen something like this before in a series of movie, but they really tune it up with this game in a very unique way. Now though, we don't have to mess with those two yet. We want to be sure that if I do get to take them out, I'll be able to hide them somewhere. Okay. Oh, but I, 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 normally when I see some device like this, it's usually not at our timeline. It's usually more like seeing ghosts or another dimension. Or like a parallel universe. Okay, just a guest in the servant, I'm guessing. What's that painting again? Oh dear. Oh, what? Oh, what? Hold on, there's someone... There is someone here. Wait, oh no, Helian. It's the Bloodfly Zombies. Because there's a lot of hives in there. Okay, yeah, we're, we're going to need to be careful there. Let me guess. The Lila is behind the blood flies. Not be surprised in the absolute slightest. Take that. Very fancy. Oh, and an audiograph. There shouldn't be anyone nearby to I see some hear that. Let's not fall back down there. Okay, shift. We got to wait for the moment. And let's have a listen.
Afterward, Megan's coming by. Talking with her always sets me right. Megan claims Stilton was a good man, at odds with the Duke. Okay, so, yeah. This is where they pull her back from the void. Let's see. Aramis, smart of you to agree to host this special little party. It will do much for your social standing, and I knew it, I could count on you. Uh, be careful not to muck it up. Here are some of the particulars, more later. We'll need a locked room, locked. That's very important because we don't want your servants entering at a sensitive moment and ruining everything. Nor would we want any of the guests to leave. No windows, or if there uh, must be windows, then perhaps make certain they are heavily draped. Once everyone has made uh, has been made comfortable with refreshments and such, it is crucial your servants and security retreat for the night. You must not interfere. No fear. Send them home if you must, or to the streets if you have if they have no residence. As for guests, I believe there will be five of us, including you. Uh, no surprise additions, please. If uh, someone stops by, send them away. This must be a private seance, and the guests have been especially chosen by Brianna Ashworth. You don't want to displease her, do you? I hope I've made these instructions clear. You were my father's closest friend, now, and I know the old badger would be happy that you're helping me with this matter. Luca Abele. And, yeah. Very big red flag with the uh, no windows and locked. Yeah, they yeah, and it, some sort of focal points. Oh dear. Let's see, his diary. Twelfth of Nets. After spending a day inspecting Tunnel 12, I overheard Claire talking about my hands. What sort of gentleman are we working for? She asked. Uh, all that black under his nails, disgusting. That's exactly what she said, and the words continue ringing in my ears. I'll talk with Jane. Uh, <clears throat> to see if he has any advice. For teens, James said many fine gents get their fingers manicured at the barbers. Uh, so tomorrow when I get a shave, I'll ask for this service as well. The next day, though his shop is small, Miguel is the best barber in the Batista district. I've seen him uh, for years, since before all this money and hubbub. I asked him for a manicure and he snorted, knowing it wasn't like me. Uh, being new to all this, I simply said, give me what everyone else gets didn't realize the simple act of having my nails cleaned would involve the application of expensive, strong-smelling li uh, lacquers. It does not suit me, but so I must uh, take steps to get <laughs> this off my hands before tomorrow's mine inspection. <laughs> did, did he... <laughs> uh, did... I'm getting, guessing he got the, the lady's treatment. He <laughs> got his nails polished. He <laughs> got his nails painted. <laughs> uh. And another day after, the lacquer was quite hard. Thankfully, I found that it softened somewhat with turpentine, leaving it susceptible to a good scrubbing with gritted paper. Though now my hands look more abused than ever. Yeah, <laughs> he did his nails. <laughs> a sneaky barber. Yeah, he just wanted it to look a bit nicer. Not... Yeah, that nice. Let's see... Da -da 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 -da. I think we've seen this one before. Yeah, it's and a song. Yeah, we are about out of time. Uh, timer has gone off already, so yeah. Let this is a, this looks like a safe place to call it. So yeah, sure. Just pile up the ponds. Pile up the ponds, Ilian. Okay. Save game. <laughs> save. Good progress again, I'd say. Oh yeah. Mm. And yeah, definitely getting interesting with this. So far, my the most interesting level was the Clockwork House, but this is this is probably going to be a, a pretty cool one as well. Oh yeah. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to see what the hell, uh, what, the, what the hell sort of ritual they did, because I very much doubt it just stayed with the seance. I'm guessing they sort of turned you know, Stilton into some sort of living phylactery for the I would not be surprised, and that would probably be the... Huh? Or... Huh. I'm not sure if that's the first time I've seen that happen, or, or not. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably get a front row seat to the entire thing. But for now, 
thank you anyone who has to watch you now or later and thank you uh, thank you wolf uh, 33 for watching as well i hope you enjoyed it and as always special thanks to you to here oh you're most welcome my friend and yeah we'll continue with this in two days <clears throat> and yeah after that <laughs> pretty sure it'll finally be the final episode of orcs must die 3 and uh, yeah, Sunday, the usual. Madness. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Thanks again for watching. And until then, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, folks, and watch out for seagulls.